Henry Ford once supposedly said, if I'd have asked what my customers wanted, they would have said, a faster horse. When Steve Jobs revealed the iPhone with an endlessly customizable screen without ugly plastic buttons, it blew the minds of people who hadn't considered this before. What do you mean buttons and controls can be on screen rather than permanent fixtures and you can change and update the looks over time? I think he was onto something, don't you? Tesla vehicles obviously mirror the iPhone's revolution with a large touch screen, replacing physical buttons, enabling dynamic control and over-the-air updates that evolve the car over time, delivering a minimalist, software-driven experience which is often dubbed the iPhone on wheels. But what legacy auto companies choose to provide their customers today with, whilst ignoring the tsunami of disruption to come, is more of the same from these dinosaurs. They seem to think more buttons will save them, more lidar, more sensors, more complexity, more cost to build them, less profits, more ways to keep people hooked to dealerships, service and maintenance, more ways to charge you for basic things like airbags and safety features. Blech and definitely not offer a simpler, straightforward, minimalist design that you can talk to and tell it where to drive you. Quite frankly, I can't believe how slow people are to realise that autonomous vehicles are not only the future, they're here today. And any attempt from car companies trying to fool people into retro-styled interiors is not only a catastrophic failure for them to innovate into the future, but it's unfortunately futile when looking at the massive disruption to come for the auto industry. 